this video, I will be talking about the application of vibration studies. That is to say, I will be trying to answer the question, why do we study vibration? And we'll get to see certain areas that we can apply knowledge of mechanical vibrations to in the field of mechanical engineering. We're going to commence by looking at how vibration can be applied to the development of devices that minimizes vibration. As we're all aware, vibration has certain negative effects, which includes causing discomfort to man. If you happen to be somewhere and you're feeling the vibration from specific machineries that are around us, you begin to feel a level of discomfort. And that kind of inconvenience usually is undesirable. Apart from discomfort that vibration can cause for humans, we know that there are certain undesirable effects that vibration could cause for machineries. For example, vibration can cause machines to fail, and there are different forms of such failures. It could be failure as a result of fatigue. It could also be failure from what we call resonance. And apart from failures, of machine parts and components, we could also have what we call wear and tear, and even imbalances in machine machine components, machine imbalances in shafts and misalignment as well. And just to have that, vibration too can lead to errors in measurements, especially where one is carrying out certain experimental procedures. If vibration is present, the readings we will get while we are measuring is likely to be inaccurate. As a result of that, engineers apply knowledge from studies in mechanical vibration to developing specific devices that helps to reduce vibration. One of them is what we call isolator. An isolator basically is a device that tends to present the transmission of vibration to the ground, which in turn could be transmitted to, to human machineries and other structures that are around. And there are a lot of all these. Another example is our shock absorbers in our vehicles. Shock absorbers are not only found in vehicles, they are found in several other machineries as well. Then we have what you call other forms of absorbers, like what you call dynamic absorber, that involves the incorporation of specific components or configuration in machines that helps to alter the vibration of the system. Then apart from minimizing vibrations, there are certain devices that may be developed in which vibration is amplified. So um, knowledge of mechanical vibration studies can also be applied to developing devices that amplify vibration. And then uh, one popular one is our musical instruments. Basically, most of the instruments that produces sound works based on the principle of vibration. So knowledge of vibration could be applied in that area. There are several other areas and there are several other machineries that um, can be developed or that has been developed based on the principle of vibrations. We have a mechanical C, for example. It's a particular device that separates particles of different sizes by causing these particles when they place them on the sieve to agitate over time. There are several other applications, even in um, civil engineering, there's this machine, they call it a piler, that is used to compact soil during construction processes. It also works based on the principles of vibration. Then we also have exercise machines as well. This is a device that helps to um, bring about relieving effects from stresses. It's used for fit therapy. Then there are a lot of um, artificial organs, such as the artificial human heart that has been developed that works based on principles of vibrations as well. Another area where knowledge of mechanical vibration is applied is in the predicting of system behavior. This system could be biological system or it could be mechanical system. By biological system, we mean that um, predicting the behavior of organs of living organisms like man, animals. One popular example, what we call osculation, wearing the vibration of the heart is recorded via sounds that is transmitted and these signals are sent to the computer and they are analyzed for different reasons. 
they could be analyzed for diagnostic purposes. That means they could be analyzed to be able to tell if a particular patient is either LD or not. Not only that, they could be analyzed for what you call um, prognostics, that is to be able to predict how certain pathological conditions would evolve with time. So we see that vibration has great applications in medicine as well. As a matter of fact, there is a course they call a medical vibrology or vibration medicine. Well, that being that, not only do we make predictions of system behavior in the of biological system, we also do the same for physical systems like machineries. So vibration can be used to predict machine performance. As a matter of fact, it's known that vibration is used to forecast failure by measuring and analyzing vibration parameters to study machine performance. And this measurement is usually carried out using what you call a vibrometer, which in turn is connected to a computer. And this is the signals that are recorded are transmitted to the computer. And after the transmissions, they are analyzed to be able to tell, well, this machine is likely to fail based on this analysis or based on our results. So primarily, these are the key areas that knowledge of mechanical vibration can be applied.